हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज दिस इज द फोर्टीन लेक्चर ऑफ यूनिट नंबर वन देट इज वे मेकेनिक्स ओके सो इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीज वॉट इज द बेसिक करेस्टरिस्टिक ऑफ वेव फंक्शन देर आर टू बेसिक करेस्टरिस्टिक फर्स्ट वन इज नोडल पॉइंट एंड सेकेंड वन इज नेचर ऑफ वेव फंक्शन ओके सो इन दिस थियरी आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट वेव इक्वेशन फॉर हाइड्रोजन आइटम वेव इक्वेशन फॉर हाइड्रोजन आइटम एंड इट इज ऑल्सो नो वन एज स्रोडिंजर इक्वेशन फॉर हाइड्रोजन आइटम इट इज ऑल्सो नो वन एज स्रोडिंजर इक्वेशन फॉर हाइड्रोजन आइटम एंड इट इज ऑल्सो नो वन एज स्रोडिंजर इक्वेशन इन पोलर कोडिनेट स्रोडिंजर इक्वेशन इन एच एटम और स्रोडिंजर इक्वेशन इन polar coordinates okay so all the headings are same wave equation for hydrogen atom or schrodinger equation for hydrogen atom or schrodinger equation in polar coordinates okay so this is the basic simple figure here first this is the x axis this one is the y axis and this is the z axis this is the origin point okay and first hydrogen atom is simplest atom having only one electron like particle is traveling in a 3d box okay so in hydrogen only one electron is present only one electron and one proton is present there is no neutron in hydrogen okay so first hydrogen atom is simplest sim uh, system having only one electron like particle moving in 3d box in particle in uh, particle in 3d box we assume first in particle in 3d box we assume potential energy inside the box is zero but in this case potential energy is does not zero okay so first schrodinger equation for h uh, atom schrodinger equation for hydrogen atom therefore del square sin xyz plus 8 pi square m upon a square e minus v sin is equal to zero okay now schrodinger equation del square sin plus 8 pi square m a square e minus v sin is equal to zero over here the value of del square is equal to del square is nothing but it is a laplacian operator sin is a function 8 constant pi constant m mass of the particle h planck constant e means energy capital v means potential energy and sin is the function in this case particle in three dimensional box there are three different coordinates x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate but in this theory i transform this cartesian coordinate into polar coordinates okay so first one is this is the basic simple figure of hydrogen atom where three coordinates are given first one is x second one is y and third one is z okay so first potential energy of electron at distance r we know that what is the value of potential energy of electron at distance r we uh, study this theory in semester 3 okay so semester 3 contain total five unit in chemistry subject but first unit is wave mechanics in semester 3 okay so the value of capital v is equal to minus e square upon r okay and in this in this equation equation number 1 i reduce i replace mass m mass small m by reduce mass mu okay by reduce mass mu therefore the value of equation 1 will become del square sin plus 8 pi square mu upon a square del square sin plus 8 pi square mu upon a square e now what is the value of potential energy potential energy is equal to minus e square upon i so i put the value minus e square upon i r in equation number 1 therefore it will become minus minus plus e square upon r sin x y z is equal to 0 okay so this is the equation of schrodinger equation for hydrogen atom okay so first one is this is the simple figure and hydrogen is a simple atom having only one electron like particle moving in a 3d box okay three dimensional box it means 
सो फर्स्ट वाइट रोडिंजर इक्वेशन फॉर हाइड्रोजन एटम डेल स्क्वायर साइन प्लस एट पाई स्क्वायर एम अपन एस स्क्वायर ई माइनस वी साइन इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके बट इन थ्री डी केस वी एज्यूम देट द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज इन साइड द बॉक्स इज जीरो इन वन डायमेंशनल एज वेल एज इन थ्री डायमेंशनल बॉक्स वी एज्यूम देट द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज देर इज नो एब्सेंस देर इज नो फील फॉर्स इट मीन्स इन एब्सेंस ऑफ फील्स फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज जीरो बट इन दिस केस द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी कैपिटल वी इज डज नॉट जीरो ओके सो द वैल्यू ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वी इज इक्वल टू अ माइनस ई स्क्वेर अपॉन आर एंड आई रिड्यूस रिप्लेस दिस टर्म स्मॉल एम इट मीन्स मास बाय रिड्यूस मास ओके एंड द इक्वेशन वन विल बिकम डेल स्क्वेर साइ प्लस एट पाइ स्क्वेर एम यू ओपन ए स्क्वेर ई प्लस माइनस ई प्लस ई स्क्वेर ओपन आर साइ एक्स वाइज जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियर कैपिटल ई इंडिकेट्स एनर्जी एंड स्मोल ई इंडिकेट्स चार्ज ऑफ पार्टिकल देट इज चार्ज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके इट इज एनर्जी एंड इट इज चार्ज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन नाउ आई कन्वर्ट दिस कार्टेजियन कोडिनेट एक्स वाय जेड In polar coordinate, polar coordinates means there are also three variable. In polar coordinates, first one is r, second one is theta, and last one is phi. Okay, so these are polar coordinates r, theta, and phi. And this one is Cartesian coordinate x, y, and z. Okay, so for a conversion of Cartesian of coordinate into polar coordinate. we need uh, some basic mathematical calculation first one in this case suppose first this angle is theta this is x axis this is y axis and this one is z axis here particle is free here particle present that is free and cartesian cartesian coordinate is x y and z okay so first cos theta cos theta it means o n divided by o p cos theta is equal to o n divided by o p cos theta o n divided by o p it means o n upon o p value of o n is equal to z and o p is equal to r so z upon r therefore the value of z it means cartesian coordinate z is equal to r into cos theta therefore the value of z is r cos theta okay so first apply cos function in triangle o p And here, okay. So the value of z is equal to r cos theta. Now apply sine theta in this triangle. Okay, so sine sine theta is equal to n p upon o p. Sine theta is equal to n p upon o p. It means the value of n p is equal to here the value of n p and o m both are equal. N p and O two m both are equal. Okay, so the n p is equal to O m and the value of O p is equal to small r. It means distance of particle from the origin. O means origin. Okay, so the value of O m is equal to r into sine theta. Okay, so first one apply cos theta, then after sine theta. Okay. And now apply cos phi. Here the angle is cos phi. Cos phi is equal to cos phi is equal to ol divided by om ol divided by om okay so the value of ol is equal to x and om is equal to r sin theta okay so the value of om is equal to r sin theta now i put the value here okay so first one cos phi is equal to ol divided by om is equal to ol is equal to x divided by Om it means r sin theta. Therefore, x is equal to r sin theta into cos phi. Okay, so Cartesian coordinate x is equal to r sin theta into cos phi. Now apply sin phi. Sin phi means sin phi means l to m divided by om. Sin phi means here sin phi it means l to m divided by om. Now What is the value of L M? L M and O L both are equal. O to L and L to M both are equal. Okay, so O L is equal to L M and O M is equal to N P. Okay, so first sine phi is equal to 
L to M divided by OM. Now value of O to L is equal to uh, sorry L to M is equal to that is Y and OM is equal to R sin theta. Okay. So therefore Y is equal to R sin theta into sin phi. Y is equal to R sin theta into sin phi. Y is equal to R sin theta into sin phi. Okay. So this is the basic conversion of Cartesian coordinate. It means x, y, z and polar coordinates is r theta and phi. Okay. So first one is this is the basic simple conversion of Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate. Okay. So first one is cos theta. Cos theta is equal to O2 n divided by OP. Sin theta is equal to NP divided by OP. Okay. So first apply cos theta and sin theta then after cos phi and sin phi okay so this basic first second third and fourth by applying four different uh, function you get final equation of x y and z x is equal to r sin theta into cos phi y is equal to r sin theta into sin phi and z is equal to r cos theta okay so transform Polar cos transform Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate. Now transformation of x, y, z between Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate by application of partial derivative. That then equation one or uh, equation this equation will become one upon r square into del del by del r into bracket r square del sin upon del r plus one upon r square sin theta del by del theta into bracket sin theta into d psi upon d theta plus 1 upon r square sin square theta del square psi upon del phi square plus 8 pi square mu upon s square e plus e square upon r, r into sin is equal to 0 okay so this is the not simple one step calculation from this equation to this equation it contains many several several mathematical calculation but in our syllabus this uh, equation is directly accepted okay so this equation is directly accept, accepted but here by conversion of this equation to this equation contain many more many more mathematical calculations so we directly accept this equation this this is the equation number two okay so the value of del square sign is equal to one upon r square this uh, d by dr into bracket r square d psi upon dr plus 1 upon r square sin theta d by d theta into sin theta d psi upon d theta plus 1 upon r square sin square theta into del square psi upon del phi square plus 8 pi square mu upon s square into bracket e e square upon r square e square upon r into sin is equal to 0 this is the equation number 2 okay this is the basic simple figure of hydrogen atom and first hydrogen atom is simple atom having only one electron like a particle moving in 3d box and first write this Rodinger equation of hydrogen atom but in this condition potential energy capital V is not equal to zero so for potential energy of electron at distance r that is capital V is equal to minus e square upon r put the value of V and reduce mass mu in equation number 1 therefore equation number 1 will become a del square psi plus 8 pi square mu upon s square e plus e upon e square upon r psi x y z is equal to 0 now this is the basic mathematical calculation conversion of Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate you need apply four different function first one is cos theta second one is sin theta third one is cos phi cos phi and for last one is sin phi by applying these four function you get final result of Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate okay so transformation of this Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate this is not a single step single step calculation this calculation contain many more mathematical uh, step okay so we directly accept this equation we directly accept this equation that is 1 upon r square d by dr del, up, del by del r into bracket r square del sin upon del r plus 1 upon r square sin theta del by del theta sin theta into d sin upon d theta 
प्लस वन अपर आर स्क्वेर साइन स्क्वेर थीटा डेल स्क्वेर साइन अपन डेल फाइव स्क्वेर प्लस एट फाइव स्क्वेर बी ओपन एल स्क्वेर इंटू ब्रेकेट ई प्लस ए स्क्वेर ओपन आर इंटू साइंस इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिक सीम्पल हाइड्रोजन स्टोर इंजर इक्वेशन फॉर हाइड्रोजन आइटम एंड नाउ इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई विल सेपरेट दिस थ्री वेरिएबल दैट इज आर थीटा एंड फाइव सो इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई विल सेपरेट All the three are variables. It means in polar coordinate three variable. First one is r, second one is theta, and last one is phi. Okay. So in next lecture, I will separate all these three variables. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. In next lecture, I will separate all the three variables. That is r, second one is theta, and last one is phi. Okay. So in next lecture, I will. Uh, separate all the three variables okay so thank you for watching this video